come to my workspace, at least for the moment. Let's take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 7, where the Apostle Paul is talking about relationships, and then suddenly he kind of gets end time on us. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29, But this I say, brethren, the time is short. The time is short. So that from now on, even those who have wives should be as though they had none. Those who weep as though they did not weep. Those who rejoice as though they did not rejoice. Those who buy as though they did not possess. And those who use this world as not misusing it for the form of this world is passing away. Verse 32 says, but I want you to be without care. You know, these end times, if we know that the time is short, there's a lot to get done. There's a lot that God wants to do through you and with you and with others that are around you. And uh, the Bible says very clearly that the things that people are concerned about, like pleasing people, getting money, buying and selling, how much do we have, how much do I own, how much does the next guy have, these are the things that will pass away. The things of this world will pass away. But we do live in this world, and so we've got to manage our time and do the best for God. One of the things I like to do is I write a lot, I think a lot, I produce a lot of things, whether it's videos or books, sermons, messages. And so I like to have a clear space when I work. And you can imagine this is the space of your mind, the space of your heart. You've got to unclutter your life. Sometimes getting rid of things means you have more. So get rid of the stuff that you don't need and try to take care of that space where you need to work in. So I like to think clearly. I like to see things uh, neatly. And this really helps me. And I uh, put down quite a lot of thoughts and you'll see some of them in the future videos. We're working on other things. Um, we've had requests from people to have live video streaming, uh, the ability to uh, buy and rent our videos digitally instead of by physical DVDs, which I think a lot of people who've been supporting our ministries have been buying the DVDs, giving it to other people. We get great testimonies of people getting saved, people rededicating their lives to the Lord as possible because you and I are working together to get Jesus into the hearts of people who are uh, pre-believers. So we're trying to uh, work on that. We're going to come up with a system pretty soon. It, we may be using YouTube rent, so look out for that. It doesn't mean that we're going to take away the free videos that we give. We're actually adding more. So we're going to dedicate time and resources to adding more videos that you're asking for, things that normally you would have had to buy and then we ship them from Australia. You're going to be able to download digitally, whether renting, which would be a little bit cheaper, or owning, which means you can watch again and again uh, at, at your leisure. So we are hearing you, we are working on those things. Uh, something else that we worked on is what uh, I'm wearing right now, very proud of this, very comfortable uh, polo shirt I've got on. I don't know if you can uh, see it, if you've noticed it, but it says Discover Ministries right here in the front. It says End Time on my sleeve, very comfortable. We bought a very good thick cotton. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, elasticity in it, so it's uh, comfortable, it's nice. And uh, at the back, you're gonna love it. So let me just show you what we have at the back. Ready for Armageddon. That's what it says. It's got the, uh, in simple, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It's got the four colors on it, uh, just one horse. But ready for Armageddon, that's the message, right? Are you ready for Jesus to return? Are you ready for the battle that's coming ahead that the Bible predicts about. Well, you might ask, how would I be ready? If you're not yet a Christian, obviously you need to get your right and your, your heart and your life right with God. And God says that He's done that. He's made a way for us to come back to the Lord uh, by the forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ. It's Jesus that took away our sins. Nobody else in the world has even claimed to do that. And so if you open up your heart, repent, and believe in the good news that Jesus took away our sins, you are literally getting ready for Armageddon. For others of us that are already Christian, remember what Matthew 24 verse 12 says. It says that in the last days lawlessness will abound and the love of many, not just a few, the love of many will wax cold. And that's really one of the signs of the end times. You see Christians hating each other 
angry, fussing, fighting over money and things like that, well, it's time to let those things go. It's time to believe God. We've been forgiven of so much. You just think about your life. How much have you been forgiven? Don't hold any grudge. Don't hold any unforgiveness because that wouldn't be ready for Jesus' second coming. So get ready for Armageddon. It says right here, the time is real short, just like we read. The minute hand, if we could have a second hand, is almost to the 12. The time is really short. So get ready, unclutter your life, let go of bitterness, hurts, uh, invest in the kingdom of God. Uh, one last thing I wanna leave you with, I heard this uh, said that your income will be the average of the five people you spend the most time with. I think that's probably true in every area of your life. Your happiness will be the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Your spiritual growth, your spiritual level will be the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And so if we're gonna be ready for Jesus coming, we're gonna to need to make sure that we get in the right company. And the Bible says to get in the company of the godly, not the ungodly, amen? So make sure that you're around people, not just that make you feel comfortable or that you even feel a bit better than them or you have more than them, but really get around people who are successful spiritually, people who love God passionately, people who have a real genuine prayer life. They, they're happy to talk about the Word of God. Get around these people because if you do, you're going to be strong spiritually. And then what's important is when you meet people out there, no matter who they are, rich or poor, you're going to be able to go and witness about Jesus to them. And all oh, they desperately need it and they desperately want to hear the truth that you have in your heart. I'm around people who love God. And so that's why I just feel that strength, I feel that confidence, I feel the anointing to better share Jesus to whoever I meet. That's what it means to be ready for Armageddon. Not just ready for ourselves, but ready so that people, other people will come into the kingdom. I'm wearing a shirt like this, I go around, people look at it, and people say, hey, what's that about? And it's just an opportunity to better share your faith with somebody else. So check out the product online at discover.org.au. Check in at YouTube so that um, when uh, we have those uh, digital media ready for you to watch and download, all right, uh, you won't miss out on that. All right, thanks a lot for your support of this ministry. God bless you. We'll see you in the next video.